Welcome to the new boot drop. This goes from October 9th to the 15th. So these are all the new releases from some of my favorite boot brands, some clothing brands as well. So it finally got cold this week, so it now finally makes sense that I'm wearing jackets again. Yeah, I was doing it before, but it was just hot outside. So anyway, lots of cool new boots to talk about this week and a bunch of really cool new clothes as well. First up, let's talk about White's new releases. White's just released their three most popular heritage models in a cool leaf green waxy leather from CF Stead. So right now you can pick up this limited edition leather in the cruise the cutter and the MP service boot. Personally, I've been considering getting a pair of whites for a while now. I got their Packer, which is a great boot, but I realized that the lineup I just mentioned, the Cruiser, the Cutter, and the MP, they're much more my style. Next up is Viberg. So two things from Viberg. Their archive sale is going on right now, and it's only running until October 15th, which is this Sunday. There's a lot of really cool boots in there, and if you've been considering Viberg for a while, this is a really good chance to get a pair of boots from them at a good discount. So they're also running sneakers and slippers as well, if that's what you're into. You might not find classic models like the service boot, but last I looked, they had some other interesting styles built on similar lasts. And because it's Viberg, you know, they're always using top-notch leather, so it's a good chance to get some of that at a, about like a $300 discount, essentially. In other Viberg news, they've also just released four new hiker boots. These blend the Pacific Northwest with traditional Scandinavian hiking boot designs for a really unique result. If I hiked more, I'd consider it I'll say that these are the coolest looking hiking boots I've ever seen, so there is that. And by the way, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Heritage Newsletter by Bootspy. Heritage by Bootspy is a weekly email that covers all the latest updates, brands, and styles in the heritage style fashion space. So if you're interested in rugged casual clothes, high quality boots, or raw denim, you're gonna love Heritage. Heritage goes out every Thursday evening and it covers the latest boot releases from top brands like Red Wing, Thursday, and NYX, and even more than that. Plus, we have new stories from around the web that dive deep into boot, denim, and heritage fashion culture, plus amazing deals on great clothing brands like Taylor Stitch, Huckberry, and more. You also get outfit inspiration from top creators. Next new boot release is from Thursday Boot Company. So Thursday, they continue their streak with another set of releases for their new boots and jackets. They've launched the Cadet in natural Thursday chrome leather, which I'm pretty intrigued by. So Thursday chrome leather is designed to be similar to Horween's Chrome Excel. I've been rocking uh, natural Chrome Excel on my Grandstone diesels for the past week, and I'm loving how it's aging already. So I'm curious how Thursday's chrome ages in comparison. There's also a new leather color for the president. It's called Amber Wheat. It's a nice light tone with some burnishing around the toe and the quarters. For Thursday's jackets, they just released the Arizona Adobe leather on the racer jacket, which seems cool. I'm wearing the tobacco racer right now, but I also just got the Arizona Adobe Captain. So having a matching jacket and boots, that's a pretty cool idea. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing it though. Thursday also released their racer jacket in Añejo, which is a smooth brown with some burnishing style elements to it as well. Of all Thursday's jackets, I think the Racer is my favorite. It's very simple and very straightforward. Unmarked is also keeping their streak alive with the release of their bull hide shoulder collection. So if you're into unique textures on leather, then you're gonna get a kick out of these boots for sure. They're available both in black and burgundy. They have a really distinct look to them. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of textured leather like this, but I definitely appreciate Unmarked because they have a really unique perspective on design and they always come up with one-of-a-kind styles, so I always appreciate seeing something new from Unmarked. Now, this next one, it's not so much of a new release, but it's definitely noteworthy nonetheless. So Truman just announced the return of their Java Wax Flesh Leather, which is by far their most popular offering. Unfortunately, I don't think they can get as much uh, that particular type of leather that they want from Horween, and it's definitely built up demand. So I'm glad I got my pair when I did, because last time I checked, this restock was already almost sold out. Taylor Stitch just dropped a new shirt and a new jacket, one if you're feeling like a cowboy, and the other if you're feeling a little bit more fancy. They've got the new Frontier shirt, which is a pretty classic Western denim shirt designed with some sweet sawtooth pockets in the front. And then they've also just released the Gibson, which is an unstructured blazer that's meant to be thrown on easily and match with pretty much anything. Now, I'm not much of a blazer guy, but the fabric on this one has tons of great texture and it's gonna be fantastic for fall and winter. Quick thing here from Huckberry, they always have a lot of new releases, but one thing that I picked up this week that I thought was worth sharing is a USA made beanie. It's a watch cap beanie for $25. It's getting cold here in North Carolina, so I figured this is a great pick at an affordable price. Wanted to mention that to you. Iron and Resin just released their popular Rambler jacket in 11.5 ounce cotton denim in natural undyed colors. I really like the look of undyed denim, and as someone who pretty much always wears jeans, I think this kind of color gives you the chance to wear a Canadian tuxedo as much as you want without going too indigo, like being full, full-blown Canadian tuxedo. This gives you a chance. Now you thought I was done talking about Viberg, but we are never done 
talking about Viberg on the new boot drop. So they just launched another new collaboration with Division Road on a new pair of Chelsea boots and their 2030 service boot. The service boot is really what caught my eye. It's made with cognac Latigo horsehide leather from the Shinky Tannery in Japan. This boot is going to age beautifully. Now, when I mentioned the Viberg archive sale earlier, if you thought, oh man, I'd love to buy new Vibergs, but the idea of still having money left over is scaring me, then you're gonna love the Division Road collab because it's $1,000. It's nice though, real nice. <laughs> Lastly, Hiroshi Kato dropped some new colors in their four-way stretch selvage denim. As someone with too many blue jeans, new color choices like the green, the copper, and the brown selvage denim, they're definitely welcome, and it's just a great way to kind of expand your wardrobe and, and make it look a little different. So that's it for this week's boot drop. I hope I see you again next week. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button here so you get the next one. And again, I have a link down in the description below where you can sign up for the Heritage email newsletter. Buy Boots Buy, that's going out every single Thursday. You guys don't want to miss it. So if you want to get that, then go to that link down in the description. You check it out there.